Vaughn Sigmund, the business mechanic. I've been tuning up businesses for decades now. How about I come into your business and give you a little tune up? Here's one I want to share with you today. This is the next in a series on performance review. How about we get that tuned up in your organization? After my first couple of videos, the next step in all this, now that you've got expectations determined, your form is ready, it's time to roll this thing out. So let's present this to your team. And what's the best way to do that? Two critical ways of doing this. Both have to be done. One more critical than the other. One, you need to present it to your entire team as a whole. This needs to be a big announcement to your team. You need to have a group meeting, announce it all to everybody, but letting them know that each person is going to have an individual meeting with their manager, that may be you, and you're going to talk about this on a little more uh, personal level as to how this is going to affect them and the positive outcome this is going to create in the organization. This is some of the things you want to talk about in this conversation. You want to share the competencies that we talked about in the last video, what expectations that you're going to have of this employee. And ask that employee what they think of those. Get some feedback. Again, this is a conversation, not a download. Uh, ask them how they think they would rank on those competencies, how they think they would rank on the KPIs that you set up for them. Ask which they feel are their strengths, um, how they feel that contributes to the company, to the team, how their strengths contribute to the company and as a team. How would they like to improve on that strength? Yeah, I said improve on that strength. If they got better what they were already good at, how would that improve their performance at work? And which one would they like to improve? Of course, there's going to be, have to be something that needs to be improved, but try to keep that to just one thing. One thing. That way they can focus on that one thing. Play up the positives, but you've got to have to work on the developmental side of it as well. And make sure they're tying what their, their opportunity is back to the impact that it's having on the team. Now, the next step in all this is probably going to be a change in your management style, but it's absolutely necessary. And that's an old management style called manage by walking around. Now, it's not just walking around that is the style. It's what you're doing while you're walking around. Most managers, most managers walk around trying to catch their employees making mistakes or they're putting out fires. I need you to change your mindset. Manage by walking around with the intention of catching them doing it right. It's a huge shift in any manager's brains. But you want to catch them doing things right. This all comes down to the emotional bank account. Here's a challenge for you. It's an old trick that I've taught managers for, for a very long time. Start your day with six pennies in your left pocket. As you're walking around during the course of the day, remember, you've got to transfer those six pennies from your left pocket to your right pocket. And the way you get to transfer a penny is you give an employee a compliment. You give them some positive feedback on something you observed that they were doing. Now, I'm not saying ignore things that they're doing wrong. If somebody's blatantly do something wrong, hey, you got to catch that, you got to fix it. But I'm just telling you, if you focus only on the developmental side, the negative side, you're making too much of a withdrawal out of the emotional bank account. That emotional bank account has got to be nice and full. That affords you the ability to make withdrawals every now and then without diminishing the relationship that that employee has with you. You're keeping it nice and full on the positive side. It needs to be balanced about six to one, like those pennies. Now, I'm not saying making, uh, to make things up about being positive in unicorns and rainbows. No, I'm not talking about that. But if you shift your thought process to be catching people doing things more right than wrong, you're going
want to start making a nice deposit on a regular basis into their emotional bank account, and that's going to pay big dividends to you, that employee, and your company. But if there's a there's a process, there's a technique that you have to use in order to make that really effective. And that process is called SBIR, Specific Behavior Impact Result. So you got to tell the employee specifically what you saw, what that behavior was, what the impact that behavior has on either their performance review or their performance in general, their team, and then the result, that if they continue to do that, what the result will be of their continued behavior along those lines. Again, it can be on both, on both sides, positive and developmental. You want it to be more on positive than developmental. But if you make it specific, you're creating an environment where they understand they can ingrain in their frontal lobe that's processing all this, the behavior that gets them a positive result. That's going to create a repeatable positive behavior. They're going to do it more often. Isn't that what you want as a boss? Isn't that what you want to see more out of your people is them doing things right? And if you want to do uh, see them doing things more right than wrong, start catching them doing it right, my friends. That's going to help a lot. So, to conclude this video, if you want to find out more, visit my website. Contact me through my website, vsigmund.com. I'm Vaughn Sigmund, the business mechanic. Share this video. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on LinkedIn. Google+. Plus. Share my videos off of YouTube. Visit my website. Contact me. Again, it's vsigmund.com. It's V as in Victor, S as in Sam, I, G, M, O, N. Dot com, vsigmund.com. Let's start a conversation. Let's get in there and start tuning up your performance reviews so you start getting the intended result out of actually spending all that time and effort in doing this. Thanks for watching today.